52 summer camp in the area. This year, 12 teams competed and helped raise nearly $4,000. You're going to need that this morning. Everyone's still in their bed. We're going right. to be pushing them along. You're not going to want to get out of your bed. No. So we'll <laughs> just push everyone today because right now... <laughs> It's going to be hard to get out of bed because yes. this is just cloudy and a little dreary mm -hmm. out there. Sun may try to peek through every now and then like we saw yesterday. Cross your fingers. But we still have quite a rain chance in there for now. So looking live outside in Tuscaloosa where we are seeing the clouds and some rain is making its way on into Tuscaloosa in the next few minutes. I'll track that out for you. Now 74 degrees in Birmingham, 73 in Tuscaloosa. Raining over in Anniston where it is 71 degrees in Anniston. 72 in Talladega and 74 in Moody. Here's the rain I'm talking about. All this moisture is coming up from the Gulf that is just fueling our atmosphere all morning long for these showers that are continuing to track east. Best coverage of rain is east of I-65 right now, but we are still some tracking some storms off to our west. These are going to be tracking into Tuscaloosa in the next few minutes, 15 minutes over in Coker and 23 minutes in Northport. 47 minute in zeros. But as we continue through the rest of the day, we are going to see these on and off showers pop up just like we saw yesterday. This is around 1:30, a good soaking of rain off to our east again. Some of these could be some storms with some lightning, so if you're outdoors, be careful. Not a total washout for the day. We will see some breaks in the rain later this afternoon into early this evening. But as we start our work week, rain will come back into play. So you may see some rain showers at the butts bus stop tomorrow morning and continue throughout the day. Pretty healthy coverage of rain for your Monday morning. And these will continue into the day Monday and Tuesday. Here's the GFS model. That's done a pretty good job of the rain coverage over the past few days. And you can see by the time we hit later in the day on Tuesday, this is around 8 o'clock, the rain has started to clear out. And thankfully in the seven-day forecast, I am putting some sunshine back into that forecast. But we have to get through the next three days first. But as you can see on Wednesday, we will be warming back up with lots of sunshine and overnight lows will be back down into the 60s much different than the 70 degree temperatures it'll be nice cool overnight lows with much more drier air alex so sunshine is on its way we need to cue the beatles here comes the sun <laughs> do 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 Eric, great minds think alike, Sarah, because I was literally just thinking that song as you were ending your forecast. Thanks so much. Your time right now, it is 6.52 this morning. And if you are just waking up with us, we're going to get you all caught up on all the stories we've been covering throughout.